you want to do is you don't really want to let this gas out straight away yep. because you want to be able to undo this with some pressure on it. So that goes for this is And this is the same process. If you're doing a king or a fox, everything's the same. But all exactly the same. So I crack this first. We just make these two, but you just buy them off the internet. It's called a pin spanner or something. So you just gotta loosen the little lock screw there. That yep. just stops that from undoing. Put this in here. Like that. Do that. Gas out. This is like the most important thing or you'll fucking you'll have a bad time. <laughs> right, so just pause it there for a second. Okay. Alright, well, so gas is out. Try this in. circuit group because the seal from the housing, if you're doing this by hand in particular, the seal from the housing around the outside of your seal gland can get jammed in here. So just put a little bit of lube in there like that. So I bring this up. Take that off. So that's just to allow, I know we have different length ones of these. That's just to allow us to push down on the seal assembly without having to push this right down in there. So. Get a bit of a wriggle, up, bit of a wriggle, up, bit of a wriggle. Like that. Let's slide this up. Alright, so we're going to come out here and we're going to catch the uh, wear band and just drain the oil off. Right, so you got your adjuster, um, housing and assembly, floating piston, um, the, the wear band's not sitting on it, but this all sits inside and then just your um, your end, end, end cap, cap basically with your, your Schrader valve in it. So yep. that's sort of how you're sitting inside your, your tube there. And, um, and again, critically, in your shock travel, you don't want floating piston on here or to touch here throughout your whole travel. Um, basically, once you're fully assembled and set up, you just want your floating piston back about, I don't know, an inch or so. It's not, you know, critical. The further back here, the higher gas pressure you're gonna build. So you don't wanna be back this way because as you travel down here, there's less area. So you're gonna build more pressure. So if you start here at 150 pound, you halve the distance to the end cap and you got 300 pounds. So ideally you wanna be down here somewhere. This moves 40 odd mil or something like that. Um, it's not a lot and that way you don't get huge pressure build up into your shock here so when we're setting it up um, we usually you push this with the gas pressure right up here feel our shock then when we put in our rod our shaft we bleed it and our seal assembly enters the shock as the the distance of this seal assembly here enters the shock that is essentially from the circlip groove to there is basically how far back that moves, that sort of thing. So that's sort of what you end up doing. So by having that sort of fully full, make sure we get all the air bled out of it and then that pops that back just that inch or so where we want it. And that's pretty well spot on. Housing, and then just do up your Schrader valve thing. All right, so just pause that there. So what we wanna do, we wanna basically push the floating uh, piston all the way up against the adjuster housing like you just saw in the photo. And then we'll see where this oil level's at. Then when we stick this in, the thickness essentially of this seal assembly, as it enters the body, will push that floating piston back pretty well exactly where we want it. Right. So what we do, we just, we got this on there now like this and you'll see the oil level, it may not because we, we just popped up a little bit like that. Yeah. So let's put the gas pressure in and let your gas pressure back out because we don't want to be trying to fight against this down here. So I'll make sure your adjusters are fully loosened off because you'll be fighting trying to get that rod and seal assembly in there. So what we've done, we've pushed, we've used gas pressure to push the floating piston all the way up here 
-hmm. and that tells us where we're at here. So what we want to do, usually if you haven't lost any oil, there's enough in there. But um, I'm just going to put a little bit more in there. Let's go to about here because we're going to put this stuff into that some oil is going to overflow. So we're just say quarter inch below the circlet groove. We take our seal assembly and rod. And what we want to do is make sure, see this, we actually run a D-ring, not an A-ring, so it's a D-shape, right? It's not an A-ring, it's just not designed this for our shocks. And so that they, um, we don't have any dramas with this, but they can catch and roll over. So you just got to make sure that they're not rolled over like that. And I just run my finger around and just inspect it for any tears. And that's all good. So what we do now, just show us, um, Lube. This is just so looking grease on the body in the circlet groove, just like this, and a bit on that green seal as well. And this just makes it easier to assemble. Otherwise, you sort of end up fighting the seal because it's a, like any A-ring, a little bit of a fight. So and I just screw this on at one turn. All right. So we're just gonna. So we've got the plating position push, uh, piston pushed right up in its position now. Let the gas pressure out, open the adjusters up. Wear band back on. Make sure it's aligned. You should have got to hold your finger around a bit like doing a piston ring. And then you just kind of squirt a little bit of oil out here like this. And I've got a little bit full there, so you probably don't need to be that full. We're just going to go down. I'm just going to go up. So you can see as it's going down there, we don't want to bring the rod out of the out of the oil and this is just bleeding the air you can see the air coming up through the probably can't, there's a few bubbles coming up there so i definitely feel this too much but anyway you don't worry about that so then basically bring him up we don't want to take it out of the oil now, as we push this seal assembly in it's a bit of oil overflowing that's good that means we've got no air in there because it's all oil now, as we push this right in it's going to push that floating piston back because all of that volume has to go into there. That's going to get that back a little bit. So it takes a fair bit of force to get that down. Got it down to expose the circuit groove. You got to really make sure this is seated in the groove because if it's not, you will wear it and you won't enjoy it. That's basically it now. Gas pressure. Right, so gas pressure. So the rod's fully extended, give it a couple seconds. Shut it off. Actually leave it on, sorry. Back out the back out the center one. Take the pressure off the valve. You can turn the get pressure off and then undo this. You just pause it for a second. I just put the the uh, Snap bring back in, and actually you should just wipe out, I'm going to rebuild this again anyway, retune it, but you should take out the um, wipe around there to get all the oil and shit out of there before you do this, otherwise you have, you know, <coughs> oil sitting on top of your seal assembly that runs down the shock and then it looks like it's leaking, but it's just because you haven't cleaned it properly. Right, so assembly oil. Yeah. Assembly oil, so that's where most of it comes from, is you just, so you just want to get a paper, paper towel under here before you put this on, um, and then it's just a matter of, this doesn't need to be like crazy insanely tight that's enough and then you just lock off your grub screw again that doesn't need to be insanely tight you put your wine sticker back on if you got one and then throw in your trader cut and that's it needle just goes and take the screw out of here just goes in the center there and then we just release the gas pressure out there just with the release nozzle. Looks like someone's already done it for us. Okay. Alright, so if we want to, like before, we want to pop down the, which I've already done. Exactly the same as before, pop down the seal assembly and then just pull out the circuit groove like that. So we're just a little bit differently with this top style. So we've got a
So we've got this threaded onto here um, for this one, and then that way we can pull on the surprise in there. So basically here, if you had to remove the floating piston, you would put a rag and zip tie it to the top where he's pointing, and you would use air pressure from the bottom to push the floating piston all the way up and out. It can be really messy. All right, so we just apply a little bit of pressure to the, the floating piston just into the chamber here. So I usually throw a rag around here, zip tie this nice and tight, and then you just pressurize the chamber to get the floating piston out of the, the IMS. So I've just greased it. It's just at the top there. I've just put it back in. So I'm just gonna push it down a little bit. So just push it down, I don't know, two or three inches or something. Um, and then we're gonna to need to put some oil in it. So try and get that down a little bit further. Because what we wanna do here is get it down just enough so that we can put some oil in that, put that piston and the, sh uh, the shaft and the seal assembly in. And work it. So it's gonna fill it up with oil not quite to the top. Now, I'm going to take the seal assembly, put a little bit of grease on. And then again, we just inspect this. It is. This is obviously a second hand one just for demos, but this will do for now. Freeze it up. Alrighty, so then we're just going to throw on, I'll just turn the machine on. Alright, so, same process again, so we're just going to slide this in. A little bit here, but that's alright. So I'm just going to sit this up like this again. I'm just going to slowly bring it down. So you'll send me right up against the washer. So the washer's in the step in the shaft. So the shaft steps down from the top pin to the shaft there. It's going to pull it down. And then what happens is we start pushing on the floating piston. I'm just going to top the oil up there. And we're pushing down the floating piston with the main shaft and main working piston. I'm just topping it up as we go and I'm just going to grab the nozzle. Oil here. And keep going down. So we want to get it right down to the piston's about to, the cell assembly's about to enter the body. I'm just going to slowly fill it up right to the top. So. Up. 
inside the underbody. So what we're doing now is ensuring that we've got the floating piston basically up against this. And as this comes in, it's just going to push the floating piston a little bit further away from the end of the shaft. And then try the circuit groove in. Circuit in the circuit groove. Yes. Okay, so, try the gas valve back in. And that'd be Loctited, of course, if it was yep. not just for demo. Nah. Like time, so this is a demo one just on our old press here. Obviously. Alright, so we're going to go gas valve. Plug it in. Can't be bringing pressure up. Using a seal assembly pump. Slowly let the gas come in. Right up. He stops, give him a few seconds. Just lock him off. Pull him out. And then we throw our now screw you back in there to seal that off, ring back on and we're done. Hey, it's Mike here from Exit Off Road. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments or you can always shoot us an email. Just go to exitoffroad.com. Thanks very much.